I joke sometimes that my wife has this annoying habit when she reads a book, and about halfway through, she'll jump to read the last 10 or 15 pages of the book. And I, you know, I tell her, look, you're destroying the creative tension that the author was trying to establish. You're, you're cheating on the literature. You're, you're disrupting this tension. And she says, absolutely. Why would I want to be tense while I read a book? But in Scripture, we are actually given the end for a purpose. Uh, we, are, we, we don't, you know, it's not a real blueprint, but we're given a, a, some images, not because they're supposed to make us want to escape the current reality, but because they are intended to remind us of where the story is going. And so we ought to be marinating in some of those images, the Revelation 21, 22, some of the parallel passages in Isaiah. We ought to allow those to just shape our thinking because they will in fact give us hope. And what I mean by that is, as we seek to align our work with what God is calling us to in the present, in this messy middle, in these places where it, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, uh, as we try to align this way, we are actually lining up on the side that will prevail in the end. And that ought to give us that uh, added encouragement, this added incentive that we are doing something that's grand, it's important, because in the end, this is what will emerge, this kingdom of God, and we are stepping into that. So I do think that the whole narrative is critically important, the creation, the fall, the redemption, but not the least of which, the new creation, uh, because of its possibility of enlivening our work with hope. After the fall, work has to be both redemptive and creative and building. It's, and so there is, uh, kind of using business words, there's, a, there's some work that fixes and some work that builds. And the fixing work, that wasn't part of the creation mandate because there was nothing to fix. That's a consequence of the fall. But both fixing and building now are part of the work we're called to as we move toward the new creation. You could think about a uh, business that is, business is to clean up uh, hazardous waste or to take a stream that's been polluted and, and figure out how to uh, clean it. Uh, you could think about how to bring beauty into some um, uh, worn down uh, parts of a city. You could think about what it would mean uh, to provide internet access as a way of liberating people who have lived under an oppressive regime. I mean, there's a variety of uh, things that are primarily designed to repair what was broken as opposed to take it to the next step. Uh, but both parts of, of business, I think, are now honored by God.